um, <laughs> I remind myself, I say, Tasha, your life has purpose. Your voice has value. I need you to embrace the greatness within, right? And it's applicable to everything that I face. Um, like even when it's something that I may not like and it hurts and, you know, I'm like, oh, okay. Like I may bend a little bit, but I'm not going to break. And I'm like, oh, okay, God, this hurts, but I trust you in this. And I still know that my life is purpose. Mm. Oh, God. Okay. Another thing. All right. You know, I still trust you with this mm. as well as the last thing that I placed in your hands to trust mm. you with. Mm -hmm. And I still recognize that my voice has value. Wait a minute. You say as well as the last thing, meaning that you might not have even come through in the last thing, but because I'm trusting for that, I know I'm trusting for this. Uh -huh. And whatever else you bring, Lord, I'm trusting you. Yep. Because you're not going to leave me hanging. Because if I put my trust in you, you say just have faith the size of mustard seed. I just got to wait the process. Yep. Ooh. And when you deal with something currently, you have to remind yourself, wait a minute, God did bring me out of that. Mm -hmm. So how dare I doubt him to bring how me out of this? How dare I doubt him? Old song, you say, you can't make me doubt him mm -hmm. in my heart. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. You can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. And it's that track record. It's that uh, benefit of having that journal or that yeah. notes in your phone to write down, oh, when God came through with that. Oh, and when God came through with that. Overall, I would say in order to be shatterproof, you have to recognize that it's your own race at your own pace and to always give yourself grace. It was good. She's a rapper, y'all. <laughs> but it's so important, friends. Everybody's pace is different. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes people are going through some things that happened some years ago, but there it's taking them so long because it's been years and years of trying to get through, it and then something else happened, or something of the same instance happened, and they're like, "Well, can I win?" Yeah. <laughs> we also have to give others grace. Mm -hmm. And connect them with a therapist. Tell them, hey, I got somebody you should talk to. I have a friend. She called me over one time for her girls. <laughs> after a while, it was like, is this the intervention? But you do that out of love. You try yeah. to help them out. If you really say that you want new and, and you really want to do things differently, um, it starts with what you manifest. And yeah. so, um, you know, I always say it's like you you exercise your mind like a muscle. Um, you know, the same way that you prepare for an exam or the same way that you prepare for like, I don't know, a fitness challenge, because you know, everybody talk about summer body ready, right? <laughs> um, but the thing is, you don't wait until a certain season to prepare. You always have to be in preparation. You can't receive a harvest if you're not preparing. You can't mm -hmm. um, receive the reward if you're not willing to do the work. And so, um, for me, I just had to recognize that alignment was my portion. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, um, you over here talking about this newness and you're talking about the things that you desire and you're talking about, you know, how you want God to move. But if you still have this old mindset of you're not even creating any space for him to move, it's like, how, how does that work? Mm -hmm. One plus one is not equaling two, you know? Mm -hmm.